Well, hello internets, here we go. Have ourselves a little bit of a vlog, uh, once again sharing some feelings and some emotions. And yeah, welcome to our vlog, so here we go. Well, you know how I mentioned I was uh, decluttering, going through some boxes and uh, selling a few things. Some of the experiences that I, uh, I got from selling the small things. Well, the small things have kind of uh, escalated to larger items. Some of the larger items I'm selling for a specific reason that um, I don't believe has been mentioned quite yet, but that will be uh, that will come up in a, a vlog of the future. And some of the larger things are being sold. It's gonna potentially put a few dollars in. Uh, well, the shoe for uh, for a potential future. Uh, project or or so it's kind of a weird feeling seeing some of your treasured items go out the door just for example the other day I sold my deep freeze my uh, deep freeze that I've had for probably 10 maybe 12 years I'm not a hundred percent sure I forget the actual timeline, you know, when something goes by, uh, when a lot has happened, you tend to forget. I remember it was bought used off of somebody that uh, somebody knew that worked with somebody on some kind of uh, classified or internal type of bullet board. The deep freeze has a 2006 tag on it. And I believe the deep freeze was probably about four years old, maybe five years old when, when uh, I come along or when I got it. I forget what I paid for it. I don't know if it was seventy-five dollars or, or one hundred and sixty dollars. But after what's it been uh, moving it, moving it three times. Uh, dropping it down the stairs once yeah that was a mistake and um, using it as my art uh, work table uh, having it on the floor of a wet basement so the bottom got kind of rusty uh, what else do I want to say it was kind of time to sell it and uh, it showed no signs of stopping no signs of being old or wore out it's probably 14 years old or so well I guess uh, with a 2006 uh, uh, decal manufacturer decal you can kind of go from there right what's that uh, what's that 16 years so you know uh, 16 year old deep freeze still going that, that in my mind anyway that's pretty decent especially for modern electronics like we're not talking about one that was built in the 70s or the 60s with uh, that that weighed 300 pounds or something yeah uh, after being dropped down the stairs i thought for sure it was only going to last a year or two i had myself a fridge cart and it was just me of course you know why would there be anybody else and i strapped it onto the cart and i'm not sure what happened if it was my hand or if it was uh, the strap but somehow it let go the cart got away from me and the deep freeze and the cart go tumbling down the stairs of my house and here it's laying upside down kind of jammed between the walls of the the stairwell and I had to like crawl over it and, and uh, squeeze between to get down and in and uh, then when I moved out of the house it was moved to the other apartment the uh, the movers that moved me piled a bunch of boxes on top of it or maybe climbed on top of it and the the lid didn't want to shut properly so I had to do an adjustment to the lid to get it to shut and 
then when I moved to this apartment, the uh, it was uh, all good to go and um, plugged her in and it was fine. I didn't have enough money living here for me to be able to afford to ever fill it. However, when I did have, when pizzas were on sale or there was a, a good sale on meat or something, I was able to buy a few extra and stick it in there. So it definitely, definitely did uh, come in handy for the last, you know, the last uh, six months or so. I, uh, it was kind of weird seeing it go because like I had mentioned, right? It's one of those items that I had for a very long time and one of those items that has been moved a few times and one of those items that that one of the many items here recently that I have sold that I never thought I would sell um, for a long time. But once again, without giving up too much of what's going on, I am uh, liquidating larger items now instead of just the smaller cl clutter items. I am down now to uh, one large TV, which is the smart TV, which is not really for sale, a, a tiny monitor style TV, and um, an old flat screen uh, LCD TV. And those two can probably sell, but the flat screen at uh, the smart TV I'd like to keep for a while. I've been uh, selling, letting things go, letting the money kind of build up in the old shoe kind of a thing. And um, we'll see how, how the future holds. When things in your life are needing maintenance, you, you should maintain them when things in your life are breaking and needing to be repaired or replaced then they need to be repaired or replaced when you have lived without things because of budgetary reasons because of cost of things and uh, you have the opportunity to finally be able to uh, make a change for a future for the future and buy these items, maintain this truck, uh, fix uh, your RV so you can camp in the summertime, replace things that are broken because you can now, Then you or once you sell things you can, reinvest the money if you want to say back into your future. I know using the term investment generally means that it'll pay you back but at the same time some things will never ever make make money to pay for themselves but at the same time that doesn't mean that you should still continue to wear shoes with holes in them uh, and uh, make do because you don't have the chance to buy new shoes once those holes start to get big enough where your toe starts to poke out uh, you should stay, take steps if you ha if you can to buy new shoes, and that's one of the things that's on my list here. I just have to find um, a new brand of shoes. Apparently, the Cat brand of shoes that have been around for twenty some odd years are getting harder to come by. I don't know if all the all the people that built those shoes didn't make it through COVID or what, or if that's the supply issue. Nothing is coming overseas to here anymore. And they're, they're hard to find in stock, hard to find in my size. Even online, they're hard to find. They're out of stock. So I'm going to have to, uh, on one of those days that I'm feeling energetic, go down to the the couple of shoe places in town, not 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 a department store, and find uh, find a uh, replacement brand of shoes. I'm sure you could probably find something that would be satisfactory in like Walmart or wherever. But in the past, when I've bought Walmart shoes, it's only two three months later, and I have to replace them because they they for me anyways they didn't last back then anyway. 
However, I'm not working full time and on my feet for 16, 18 hours a day like I was. So maybe Walmart shoes would work for me a little better now. Just a few things that I had floating around in my brain that I wanted to share. The uh, next few months is going to be interesting. Kind of a liquidation once again of uh, some of these larger items. Cutting back on the clutter, cut, cutting back on a few things, letting go of some of my past stuff, building toward the future, and uh, seeing how things go. And as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's Vlogs. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.